Hello, YouTubers, friends, and patrons. Who are yourselves dust like peasants, vassals, Syrians, WMDs, weapons of mass dumbness? I'm a useful idiot, and uh, today I want to talk about this story that's coming out now about uh, a plan by uh, British contractors, the United States, and Qatar to create a false flag event in Syria using chemical weapons. And even the lineage of this story is kind of interesting. The uh, plan was supposedly cracked back in the December of 2012. And uh, the story first appeared in the UK in January of 2013. But it's only now appearing in the uh, Western press. And I remember seeing the story back then, and for whatever reason, um, kind of let it go. Um, but now, of course, in light of the fact that the red, supposed red line has been crossed, and all these reports have come out about chemical weapons in Syria. This, uh, this story has a lot of relevance. And uh, this story pretty much ties everything together that we've seen so far. And uh, the story goes that Obama gave the okay to signal a chemical attack in Syria and then blame it on the Assad government. Pretty simple plan and uh, pretty much what we guessed all along. And then the report contains an email exchange between two senior officials. One of them is the the company owner of a British-based contractor called Britain Defense, showing a scheme that was approved by Washington. And uh, the scheme called for uh, Qatar to fund rebel forces in Syria to use chemical weapons. And this, uh, all this documentation is available because of a hacker from uh, Malaysia that uh, hacked into these accounts and provided these documents. So uh, there's a certain amount of veracity to this. And uh, another reason why this all, all makes sense is because what we've seen, and I'll attach the videos I've done on this topic before below, but uh, what this does is it ties together all the other stories of uh, the uh, Turk, Turkish authorities finding sarin gas containers on Syrian rebels al-Qaeda in Turkey, and then Syria finding sarin gas on opposition in uh, along the Lebanese border, and, uh, and then the fact that uh, all these reports coming out of Britain, France, and the UN, even though all the media reports are skipping over the details about the fact that they're saying that gas was used multiple times all over all over Syria, but only once, possibly, by the Assad government. So this bears out the fact that the opposition was using it all over um, Syria in order to instigate uh, intervention. And uh, in spite of the fact that the, the government probably didn't have an attack, they're going to uh, pin one of these attacks on Syria in order to make the case for this intervention. But uh, all this ties together. It's uh, just another false flag. And interestingly enough, they, they didn't even really need to create the false flag, because regardless of uh, who, who used the weapons, we're, you know, we're going, the United States is going in. So this is, uh, this is how it is. And this also goes in line, too, with the fact that uh, part of the uh, U.S. forces that are in Jordan right now are on one side of the border, supposedly training uh, the opposition in how to control the weapon sites in Syria. More likely, uh, the third party that I mentioned before that was supplying uh, chemical weapons to the uh, opposition in Al Qaeda um, and the Free Syrian Army, where it turns out is actually probably a combination of Israel, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and the United States, all the people who are, are uh, backing this war. So uh, this just. Uh, confirms that. So instead of being trained to handle chemical weapons, these uh, opposition were trained to uh, infiltrate chemical weapons in Syria. So so this uh, report isn't much of a surprise, but um, it certainly ties it all together. And uh, in the end, it probably doesn't really mean that much, because one way or another, um, the axis of uh, Saudi Arabia, Israel, Qatar, and the United States will find a way to uh, make sure that the Assad government is removed one way or another, and this was just one way. I'm a useful idiot, don't you be one too.